good morning children uh, today according to your timetable you have maths children in your maths we are doing numbers four digit and uh, we finish children your previous class with expanded form and after that you saw the greatest and the smallest four digit now we are going today with number line and ascending and descending order what is it ascending and descending before we go into the next uh, uh, topic please listen carefully because you all know the place value isn't it now with the help of the place value we will be doing the first topic in numbers four digit the number line so what are we doing children number line see the topic is number line now children what is the use of a number line now for example we travel from here to your house we travel from here to chennai we travel from we walk from here to the next uh, compound in the same way everything moves that which is moving now for example a frog it jumps from here to this little distance that side a deer jumps from here so when we ask where did the dog go or where did the deer run you will say it ran from that place to here isn't it so just we'll say that place and the distance is not known to know the distance we use the number line okay now how we how do we see the distance covered how we see the place of a person or an animal or a car or anything that is moved from one place to another place and reached okay so very simple is your subject in your fourth standard with four digit number line okay now number line how do we see now look here now we have in your exercise also i have given you taken up from the exercise because you children when i do the sum on the board the exercise is having a question and they, you keep on calling me <coughs> so let's see how we do it now suppose there is a say a deer a deer is here and it was or a bird you can say a bird it's moving from here and it's jumping to this distance that means the number given here is what children 2100 and it jumps and goes to 2125 then again it goes to 2150 but you are not knowing how much it is jump the next how much it is gone you will be thinking wow the the bird has reached at 2150 now how much is that next so we measure it how you know children look towards the board we put you should always have a rough column or a rough with the scale you will draw and you all know the place value so make a place value of a chart thousand hundreds tens and units now you made now when you write want to know how much is the next number you will take this is bigger number right you see this is in thousand two thousand also two one in hundreds one the next is zero here that doesn't have value two is in tens place so this number is bigger so you will write this number that is 2125 2125 which is bigger and 
which is the smallest 2100 so 2100 you will write now children you have to minus here this number bigger minus the small number which is at the back you minus you will get how much that number you will get in the end but here listen how it is now it is 5 2 and 0 has no value so the result is 25 what is the result 25 now what you have to do is you have the number given in the last 2150 you have to add this 25 so the difference here in traveling is 25 everywhere here also 25 here also 25 here also 25 so very simple children you can only add up the numbers when you subtract it now here it is 2150 right so once you get the difference is 25 you got the difference is 25 here you have to take the 25 and add to the last four digit given to you so you will get 2000 add up now 2150 now this is you are doing here plus what are you here you are doing minus you got the difference 25 here you are adding it up now what how much you will get when you add adding you will get see extend it you will get five seven one two so your next number will be two thousand one hundred and seventy five now you know the difference is 25 children you know it is 25 here everywhere so again you add up 25 here so when you add up plus 25 in your rough column how much you will get you will get 10 then again 8 and uh, 9 plus 1 you will get uh, 10 then 2 then 2200 again you know the difference is because you got the difference right you minus this you got the difference what 25 so the difference you got is 25 you add up 25 here it will be 2000 add up plus 25 in your rough column it will come 2225 i hope you are understanding now i'll show one more example here children see here here we will take you are walking suppose you are walking and you want to reach to the destination you are reached here now you started the digit was 3250 and when you reach the next destination it is sorry 3250 you have reached 3300 50 here it is 250 here it is 350 now how will we again do it i'm giving you one more example see you will take your rough column do it very easily children take your rough column okay in the rough column you see which is the biggest digit 3350 is big smaller one is 3250 you make in your rough column again the place value chart why i tell you to make place value chart for the children who are learning the thousand digit is new and they should not get confused so the number bigger is what children here look here you will write the bigger number 3350 so 3350 okay now the smaller number is what 3250 
fifty. Three thousand two hundred. This is smaller. So you write three thousand two hundred and fifty. Now you see you minus it. What you will do? Because the first step is to minus. Now when you minus, you get the answer zero, zero, one, and of course zero. So you get the difference is hundred. What is the difference? So each place is moved as hundred. It is hundred. It is hundred here, hundred here, hundred here. Difference. Here it was twenty-five, uh, whereas here it is hundred. Now you want to find out the next number. What will you do? I hope you understood from here. What you do, children? Three thousand four hundred and fifty. You will minus or add. Here you will add what you got in the minus. That is hundred. So when you add up three thousand four hundred and fifty, add up three thousand four hundred and fifty. When you add it up, you will get the answer three thousand five hundred and. Fifty. Simple. Here you have to add it up. Don't minus. Here it is minus to know the difference. But when you get the answer and the difference, you have to add it up. So here the answer will be three thousand five hundred and fifty. Now you start adding up. Here also you have to add hundred. So hundred when you add up, how much you will get? Three thousand six hundred and Again, add up hundred, you will get three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Understood? So this is how you will be doing your number line. Very simple. First, you will do the uh, difference and find out the difference here, and then what answer you get that you will add to the last number. Now, in, if I want to know what time did the person or a man reached this place how many meters or kilometers you can say it was 3750 if the question asked in the kilometers so here it is 2000 so i hope you understood children any doubt you must let me know in your apps now write the missing number of the following how will you write the missing number This is also simple, children. It is same way. Now this is bigger, right? And this is small. You have to minus. Same thing. You do the number work in place value. See? Now what is the number here? Two thousand three hundred and thirty. Two thousand. Two thousand three hundred and thirty. Okay, then you minus this with two thousand three hundred and twenty-six. Two thousand three hundred and twenty-six. In minus, what will you get? Here you will get you will get a ten minus six four. All this becomes zero zero. So the answer was four. So when you add up this four to this number. What you will get? See, when you add up four, you will get what, children? Eight. Then tens is three. Then hundreds is three. Two. So two thousand three hundred and thirty-eight. So the same four you add up here. How much you will get? Huh? It will be twelve. Okay, eight plus four is twelve. So twelve, one remainder here, it becomes four. Then three and two. So the answer will be two thousand three hundred and forty-two. Now again, the difference between these numbers are what is the difference? The difference was four. Add up four here again. It will be eight. Then four, three, and two. 
so you got the difference between these two was four number that four number only you are added up for all and you get the last number 2348 it is given to you in the exercise it is given to you in the exercise here children can you see the exercise on page number 33 exercise 2.4 I have put first second question on the blackboard the remaining you will do it in the textbook and in the classwork okay now we go to the next topic the next topic is <coughs> ascending and descending what is the next topic ascending and descending very clearly you understand ascending and descending don't get confused I've seen many children get confused Ascending is from smaller number to bigger number. Now, for example, I give here, give to you here. Uh, suppose I give two, three, four, five. Okay. I ask you to, I ask you to write this in ascending order. How will you write? Very simple. These are all you can write it. Which is the bigger number? Because it's one digit, you know ascending. The so the smaller number is automatically two, three, four, five. Now suppose if I give you seven, two, six, four. Now you which is smaller to bigger? So smaller will be two. Next smaller will be four next smaller will be next bigger will be which one six then seven so ascending means smaller number to bigger number to bigger number smaller number to bigger number but this is one digit what is this this is one digit now this one digit you are not doing you did it in your smaller classes but i just reviewed for you children i just did the review now we are doing four digit now when you do four digit now here you are doing first thing we will find out before doing ascending and descending we will do which is the smallest or the greatest number now to do which is the smallest and greatest number in the four digit you have to take these numbers in place value now place value you see 3000 here also 3000 here also 3000 here also 3000 next is 6 6000 6 in hundreds place whereas here it is 7 so this will be the this will be the greatest number so you will write in your answer greatest greatest number is this number you will write 3765 now when you see you wanted the smallest number you go to the next number here it is 7 here it is 2 next is 6 now 6 is everywhere 5 is everywhere but the smallest number will become in the thousands place this one because in hundreds place this is having the smallest understood children you have to see the place position three 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 is all in the thousands place hundreds place six hundred seven hundred two hundred four hundred so seven hundred is bigger so the greatest will be three thousand seven hundred and sixty five then they have also asked smallest when you see in hundreds place two is smaller so this will be when you write the answer a smallest number 3265 and the greatest number is 3765 now uh, in the next question also see it is 8000 whereas there is no 8000 in the second question so the number itself is become a greatest number so the uh, greatest number is 8820 now in thousands place this is 3 this is 6 this is 2 so the smallest number will be 2000 
905. Children, we stop here because Miss has got another class and uh, the ascending and descending I will continue in the next class. You do the homework on page number this one what you call page number 33 and 34 okay your homework is page number 33 and 34 see you with your ascending and descending in the next class thank you have a great day